Arduino Jeopardy Buzzers Part 1 The Case I started this project out by drawing a 4 inch by 4 inch square on a piece of 1 inch inch thick plywood. I then laid out all the pieces and figured out where I wanted to drill holes for them. Once I had all the pieces laid out, I took it to the table saw just to cut out all the pieces. Here I'm drilling out the three 3 millimeter holes for my 3 millimeter LEDs, and then my half inch hole for my push button, which will be the reset button on this game. On the side of the box, I'm mounting a three-way toggle switch so we can set it from 30, 60 to 90 seconds. And then three quarter inch holes for the RCA cables, which will connect to the actual buzzers. After I glued it all up and gave it a layer of paint, I realized I forgot to make a hole for the on-off switch, so I did that with a chisel off camera. The actual handheld buzzer buttons are made from half inch PVC pipe, which I cut to four inch lengths, and then I sprayed black. With everything painted, I started installing the components. Once all the components are installed, I take it inside to do the electronics. Part 2. Electronics. I'm using the Arduino Pro Trinket 5V, mainly because I'm going to be using all the digital inputs that the Pro has. So for the wiring, all the components get their own color that goes to an Arduino port. Any component that needs Voltage will get a red wire that comes from the 5 volt port on the Arduino and if it needs to go to ground it will get a black wire that will go to the ground port on the Arduino. The only exception of course is that there will be a red wire that goes on the on off switch that connects directly to the battery. But still red means power, black means ground. So there are a few components that are hot glued into this case. One of them is this piezo, which is used for sound, and then the three three millimeter LEDs go in the holes, but they are hot glued in place. And once all those components are in place, I start working on the actual hand buzzers. Here you see me taking apart some old RCA cables, which I will use as the cord that connects to the push button buzzers. As you can see, there are these two wires inside of each of those cables. And now I'm just going to solder those wires to the momentary switch. I will hot glue the momentary switch to one end of the PVC pipe and then I'll make a knot on the other end and hot glue that to the end of the PVC pipe. And once the hand buzzers are finished, I go back and start soldering the wires to the Arduino. There isn't any specific place you need to put the wires except that they need to go in the digital ports and you need to remember or be able to find out which ones are where for your program. Once I got all the digital pins soldered to the Arduino, 
I soldered some resistors to the ground wires and I added some ground wires that I forgot to add to my switches and then I connected them all to ground. Then I used electrical tape to cover all the solder connections. I basically did the same with the battery connector. I connected all the hot red wires and I connected the black wire to ground and then covered all those solder joints with electrical tape. And this is where I realized that I forgot to add a ground and resistor to my momentary switches. It's important to do this because if there's any residual electricity on that line, it could make the Arduino think that the button is being pushed, which can cause really weird behavior on your electronics. And once all that is complete, I smoosh all the wires and battery in there and give it a try. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this project, please like, comment, and subscribe below. What is your name? Gigi. What is your quest? Find the button. What is your favorite color? Red, green. No! <laughs>